In the opening scene, we are introduced to a high school girl named Kasai Mai, who has recently relocated to a village due to her father's job transfer. As she wakes up, she captures a view of the village from her bedroom window, mumbling to herself that she never thought she would live in a village. Afterwards, she prepares for her first day at her new school, making a personal commitment to be a disciplined, humble, and sociable student. Inside the classroom, there is a noticeable group of female students who are seen discussing a new student from Tokyo and plan to recruit her into their group. Meanwhile, a student named Odagiri Shino is called to the staff room, where a teacher informs her about Kasai's arrival. Shino is tasked with helping Kasai adapt to the school environment. She is chosen because she is also relocated from Tokyo, just like Kasai. Shino then guides Kasai to their classroom, with the latter filming the school corridors along the way. Upon entering the classroom, Kasai introduces herself gracefully to her new classmates and takes her seat. During a break, she sits alone while the other students gather in different groups. She realizes that she must start looking for friends or else she will be alone in the coming days. She then takes out a branded purse from her bag, which grabs the attention of the prominent female gang. They approach her and the leader of the gang, Yuria, starts a conversation. It doesn't take long for Kasai to warm up to them. She makes the gang leader happy by praising her hair as well as her name, even though it sounds like some sort of infection. But deep down in her heart, Kasai thinks that Yuria and her gang members are stupid. In the meantime, Shino suddenly experiences breathing difficulties, drawing the attention of everyone in the classroom. Her friend Sakai rushes to her friend to offer support. She somehow manages to calm her down, and when questioned about the cause of her distress, Shino reveals that she is panicking because she has again ended up in the same class with Kasai in a shocking turn of events. Shino discloses that during junior high school, she had been a target of bullying by Kasai and her gang. This revelation leaves the entire class shocked and changes their perception towards Kasai. As Shino hastily exits the classroom, a bewildered Kasai follows her, trying to find an explanation for her accusations. As she approaches her, Kasai recognizes her as Kumura, a former classmate from junior high school who has changed her name to Shino. Kasai asserts that the people who bullied her in the past were Chiharu and Shiori, not her. In a flashback, it becomes evident that Shino was indeed subjected to bullying by a group, with Kasai merely watching from a distance. Because of this, Shino is exacting her vengeance on her. Just then, Sakai walks in and Shino suddenly starts acting like a victim. Seeing this, Sakai tells Kasai to stay away from her friend. In the aftermath of this event, no one in the class talks to Kasai. The following day, one of the members of Yuria's gang, Shizuka, returns to school after recovering from an illness. Upon entering the classroom, she notices is Kasai, a new face in the class. Just as she is about to approach Kasai, Yuria stops her and informs her about Kasai's involvement in the past bullying of Shino. Furious at this revelation, Shizuka pours water on Kasai and demands that she apologize to Shino. Humiliated, Kasai walks out of the classroom, slamming the door, unintentionally injuring Shizuka's fingers in the process. Shizuka cries out in pain, and to further intensify the situation, Shino claims that Kasai Kasai had previously done the same thing to her as well. After witnessing this, the entire class shouts at Kasai, urging her to leave. Later, the class resumes, but all the students are busy chatting about Kasai. The next day, Kasai arrives at school and discovers some trash beneath her desk. She collects it and goes to dispose of it in the trash bin, only to find her notebook torn into pieces there. In response, Kasai grabs her phone and records the situation. She then goes to Uriah's desk and tears her notebook like she did to hers. Yuria confronts her, warning her against touching her belongings, to which Kasai retorts, the same applies to you. During the break time, Shino is seen keeping a close eye on Kasai. As a result, she learns where Kasai keeps her phone. When everyone leaves the classroom for lunch, Shino goes to Kasai's table to steal her phone. The following morning, Kasai arrives at school and promptly extends her apology to Shizuka for her actions the previous day. However, Shizuka pays her no attention and enters the classroom. Later on, Kasai notices that everyone in the class is watching her video. It turns out that Shino has shared her vlog from her phone to the class chat group. In the video, Kasai vents her frustrations about her new life in the village and recounts her bad experiences at the new school. Unfortunately, this makes the 
students dislike her even more. Later, during break time, Kasai is having her lunch alone when she is approached by one of the classmates named Minami Abe. Minami hands Kasai an invitation card to an upcoming cultural festival. As she is about to leave, Kasai stops her and tries to befriend her, but the latter hesitates to be her friend. Moments later, Shino approaches her and taunts her for being unable to make any friends. In the next scene, we see Kasai sitting on the bathroom floor in a completely messed up state. It appears that she has once again been bullied by Yuria and her gang. A short while later, Shino arrives, and seeing Kasai in such condition makes her smile. However, her happiness is short-lived, as she soon starts gasping for breath. She rushes out of the bathroom and takes medication to calm herself down. It turns out that Shino is suffering from neuropathy, and witnessing Kasai's condition triggered her traumatic memories from junior high school days. Afterwards, the students start decorating the school for the upcoming event, with their class teacher Midori providing guidance. As soon as their teacher leaves the classroom, Yuria and her gang walk up to Kasai and paint her face with a red color. Panicked, the poor girl hurries to the bathroom to clean her face. Shino also follows her and proceeds to taunt her, saying that this is just the beginning. Yeah, we're gonna paint your arms red too. The scene then cuts to the day of the festival, where all the students are enjoying themselves. When Kasai enters the classroom, Yuria and her gang start bullying her, as usual. Despite this, Kasai disregards them and proceeds to her desk, only to be freaked out by a pile of worms beneath her bag. Frustrated, Kasai snatches Shizuka's puppet doll and tosses it to the ground before storming away. She decides to return home, but she is not allowed to leave the school until the festival ends. With nowhere to go, Kasai enters an empty room and locks herself in. On the other hand, Yuria and her gang venture class to class in search of Kasai. After a brief nap, Kasai walks out of the room only to be confronted by Yuria's gang. They forcefully push her back into the room and lock the door from outside. Kasai desperately taps on the door, begging to be let out, but the bullies ignore her pleas and depart. As time passes, it becomes urgent for Kasai to use the bathroom, but there's no one to open the door for her. Once the festival ends, Yuria and her gang return to unlock the door. Kasai hastily tries to run towards the bathroom, but Yuria once again pushes her back. This causes Kasai to pee on herself, creating an awkward situation for everyone. Yuria attempts to ridicule her further, but another student named Chiho yells at the bully group, firmly telling Yuria to stop. In a fit of anger, Kasai also takes off her underwear and throws it against the wall, making the group walk away. The news of Kasai's underwear incident quickly spreads throughout the school, becoming a hot topic of discussion among the students. Well, at least she didn't urea in her pants. Upon hearing this, Shino rushes to the bathroom and bursts into laughter. On the other hand, Kasai decides not to attend school that day. Instead, she goes to meet with her old friends from her previous school and has a wonderful time with them. At the end of the day, one of her friends inquires about her new school, to to which Kasai responds that things aren't going well. Her friend then suggests she consider returning to her previous school, but Kasai tells her that she'll be fine. Later that night, Kasai decides to change her appearance by coloring her hair. With her new look, she returns to school the following day, leaving everyone shocked by her transformation. Before long, Yuria approaches to mock her, but this time, Kasai retaliates by making fun of Yuria's hairstyle, deeply hurting her feelings. In the afternoon, teacher Midori calls Yuria out of the class to have a word with her. She hands her a small note, which contains a complaint of a student being bullied in the class. Afterwards, Yuria confronts the entire class, demanding to know who reported the bullying to the teacher. This makes Chiho nervous, as she was the one who did it. Seeing her distress, Kasai bravely takes the blame upon herself, protecting Chiho from becoming the bully's next target. Enraged, Yuria pours a bottle of black ink over Kasai, leaving the entire class flabbergasted. After school, Kasai is on her way home when she is approached by Chiho, who expresses her gratitude for 
for saving her earlier. She asserts that she is completely against the bullying, but doesn't have enough courage to stand against Yuria and her gang. As they converse, Chiho reveals that she knows Shizuka from junior high school, and she is not a cold-hearted girl like Yuria. After learning this, Kasai devises a plan against Yuria and invites Chiho to discuss it over a cup of tea. The following day, Kasai uses Chiho's phone to text Yuria and deliberately encourages her to gossip about Shizuka. Later, she asks Chiho to steal Yuria's phone and damage it so that she won't be able to alter the messages. After their classes, Kasai meets Shizuka and discloses the screenshots of the messages Yuria sent about Shizuka. In these messages, Yuria characterizes Shizuka as a weak and unintelligent individual, expressing her dislike for her. Initially skeptical, Shizuka attempts to contact Yuria but is unable to reach her. Kasai then persuades Shizuka to distance herself from Yuria as she could potentially become the next target of bullying. Frightened by this revelation, Shizuka runs away from there. A short while later, Yuria hears a scream and rushes downstairs to find Shizuka lying injured on the ground. In the aftermath of this incident, the students talk about Yuria being found near Shizuka's body and harbor suspicions that she may have intentionally harmed her. Some girls inquire about the incident from Yuria, but she chooses to ignore them. One day, Shiho confronts Kasai and tells that she will never change her hurtful behavior. She then proceeds to harm herself in front of Kasai by cutting her wrists, unbeknownst to Shino. Kasai has been recording their entire conversation on her phone. The new news of this incident soon reaches the principal's ear, and as a result, she confronts the class teacher Midori about the ongoing bullying in her class. In response, Midori contends that bullying exists everywhere and that students should face it by themselves. On that same night, Kasai goes through all the recordings she has collected over time. Here, it is revealed that Kasai has been secretly recording all the conversations and incidents she faced with Shino. She then uploads all of it to a website and shares them with the entire school. The next day, when Shino enters the classroom, everyone stares at her in shock. Yuria is also taken aback by all those videos. She immediately confronts Shino and asks if all of this is true, but the latter is speechless. This makes Yuria realize that Kasai has never bullied Shino. After learning this, the entire class starts blaming Yuria for picking the wrong target. Shortly after, Shino confronts Kasai and accuses her of ruining her life. In response, Kasai tells her not to blame others because one should take control of their own life. In the final scene, Kasai walks in front of the class to address everyone. She yells at the entire class, claiming that they are all the real bullies because none of them stood up against bullying and just enjoyed watching it. She also says that she won't forgive anyone and curses them to die. After spilling her heart out, she storms out of the class while all other students begin to collapse to the ground. One after another. The moral of this story is that if everyone is a piece of shit, then no one is not a piece of shit. It's like this. Turn on notifications and leave a like to help the channel out. Thank you for watching.